Good day, my people. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a new challenge that I just came up with. It's a career mode challenge where ChatGPT and I take turns managing Liverpool for one season each. The goal of this challenge is to get them back to the top by only signing three new players each, and whoever has the best 23-24 season wins. Now, since ChatGPT's football knowledge only goes up to January 2022, I'm going to give them a billion pounds to spend and let it pick the free players to sign. As for me, I'll have to manage to sign these free players with the team's current funds and by selling players, while also not signing players that ChatGPT has already chosen. And now, let's see how ChatGPT's rebuild turns out, shall we? So guys, as we can see here, these are the free players that ChatGPT asked me to sign. And as you can see, it makes a lot of sense that his football knowledge only goes to January 2022 because he's asking me to sign Erling Haaland. Haaland, Haaland, Bayern, Haaland. Back when he was in Borussia, Declan Rice. Rice, Rice, baby. Back when he was at West Ham. And Kalidou Koulibaly destroys Aguero and Vardy. Back when he was in Napoli or Chelsea, if I'm not mistaken, it was either one of those. So uh, we'll sign the free players and uh, put them in the squad. Early Haaland just had one of the best individual seasons ever. Just won the trial of Man City and he just said, yep, now I want to play under the best coach to ever step on the football pitch. Jurgen Klopp. 228 million pounds. That's a lot of cash for a single human being. Welcome, Declan Rice. Finally, a world class CDM since the departure of Fabinho. And last but not least, we signed the Senegalese wall himself, Kalidou Koulibaly. And now let's finally put all our signings in the starting lineup. So, guys, as you can see here, this is the new Liverpool for the 23-24 season with Haaland as striker, Declan Rice at CDM, and Kalidou Koulibaly here at Centre-Back. This should be a great season according to the level of the team, but we know how FIFA usually works, so uh, this could go badly. But now let's just simulate to the end of the season and see how this team performs, shall we? Many months later. Okay guys, we have finally reached to the end of the season and... Uh, Assuming the performance thing on the top left, um, apparently the season didn't go as good as it was expected it to be. So we finished second, Man City with 97 points, and we were second with 75 points, which is not great. Uh, we did win the FA Cup, which is quite nice, 5-4 against Chelsea, quite an exciting game right there. Well, we did not win the Carabao Cup. Let's see where we fell. We lost some penalties to Newcastle at the quarterfinals. What else? Uh, with Europa League, right? That's the thing that is missing. Uh, we did not win it. Where did we lose? We lost in the round of 16 to Galatasaray. Well, that's great, isn't it? Okay, well, um, not a great season, if I do say so myself. But um, at least they won something. So uh, now let's do my attempt at beating this season. So as we said, no financial takeover for me. I will make the money myself and make the free signings accordingly. So guys, these are the options I came up with in my mind. Um, I was thinking about Mbappe, but the 154 million value is a bit expensive i'm not gonna lie so uh probably we'll go with ozman let's see if we can bring him cheap him plus 50 million how about that 51.9 yeah let's do it well our first of three signings has just been made we just brought in a striker hungry for goals or just hungry in general so kenny mbappe is off the list and uh, now for center back I would really like to bring Marquinhos in, but uh, we'll probably end up bringing Bremer because he is a bit cheaper. Welcome Marquinhos, our second signing. 
and uh, now all we need is just a CDM. Joe Gomez plus 60 million pounds. Again, a lot of money, but hopefully it's exactly what we need to win two trophies, at least. So now, at last, we have the options of Frankie de Jong or Joshua Kimmich. I would prefer Frankie de Jong, but Kimmich seems a bit cheaper. But since, but let's try de Jong just, just, just to see. Sheesh. Well, that that was a good talk. Let's try Kimmich then. Oh, we can't pay your wages. Oh, that's great. Oh my God, we need to get him for cheaper. Shit. Matip, thank you for all the things you've done for this club, but uh, yeah, now that we have Marquinhos, we don't need that many centimeters. Thiago plus 60 million. Come on, this should be enough, right? Wow, he just straight up left. Okay, well, Kim, I prefer Kimmich anyway. We did so well in preseason, won the free games. Hopefully that's a, a sign, but unlikely. Curtis Jones plus 40 million pounds. Oh, he got more expensive. <laughs> That's cool. 47.5. Great. We did. Now, we should have enough money to pay his bills. And here's our last signing of the challenge. Joshua Kimmich to be the CDM we very much needed. We gave them Curtis Jones plus 47.5 million pounds. And now we are finally going to simulate and see how this goes. So guys, as you can see, this is the starting lineup. We have Alisson on goal, of course. Trent at right back. Marquinhos, Van Dijk, Robertson, Kimmich, McAllister, Soboslai, Diaz, Salah, and Ozyman at striker. This team is very, very good. And uh, hopefully we do better than... Chad GPT's team. Let's start simulating, shall we? Many months later. Okay guys, so we finally reached the end of the season and seeing the performance on the top left, maybe we had a better season than Chad GPT because at least we have just a thumbs down instead of in risk of getting actually fired. So let's have a check how our season went. Let's first see the progress of our players. I actually didn't see that for the for the other team, but uh, Oziman, we brought in as an 87 and he's now a 91, so that's a big upgrade. Uh, Kimmich increased one and Marquinhos also increased one, which is really nice. So it became a very decent overall team. So um, let's check how the team did in all competitions. Okay. Uh, we finished fourth, so we did worse in the Premier League compared to ChatGPT, so not great. In terms of FA Cup, we did win it. I actually can't remember. I think ChatGPT also won the FA Cup, right? Or it was the Carabao Cup. I think they won the FA Cup as well, so we're tied, so that's pretty decent. In the Carabao Cup, we won the Carabao Cup. This means we actually won, because we won the same trophy they won, but we also won the Carabao Cup, so pretty decent. But I still didn't check the Europa League. Did we actually win the Europa League as well? That, that would be just the cherry on top. No. Well, that's interesting. Where where did we get eliminated? We got eliminated to Stead Reigns on penalties. Shit. Well, points to stands. The challenge has been completed. I won. And uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, perhaps we'll do this more often, but with different teams. And uh, maybe I'll bring the other twat in. And uh, we might do some forfeits if we lose to the AI. That could be an interesting series to bring to the channel. So please like and subscribe. And see you on the next one. Goodbye.